Carlo Gerhardt and I'm applying for the Benedictine Gregorian Fellows. Uh, within my leadership, I've recognized that I need to work on my delegation and balancing workload. I've found that oftentimes I take on too many responsibilities and too many tasks because I don't want to burden the other members of my team by giving them more to do, which is probably not the best way for me to be thinking because it adds a lot of stress and pressure onto myself that really doesn't need to be there. For instance, when we're doing group projects, I'll usually take control over the group project and then I'll end up doing the majority of the project because my other um, partners don't want to work on it and I don't want to burden them by making them work on it, which in reality, I need to ask them for help and ask them for assistance uh, with the project. Um, I aim to recognize when I'm taking on too much and uh, to work on my delegation of tasks. Uh, one thing as Catholics that we're called to do is to serve one another. Uh, th over the past year, I've had the honor and privilege of serving as an intern at a nonprofit called Pi 515, a camp counselor at Catholic Youth Camp in Panora, Iowa, and as a teacher's aide through my school. Um, and through all of these experiences, I learned the value of collaboration, communication, creativity, um, and having a positive attitude, honestly, flexibility too. Uh, but having a positive attitude is what stuck out to me because if I didn't have a positive attitude at camp, uh, why would the kids want to be there if their counselor's not happy? Like, if I wasn't energetic, then the kids weren't going to be energetic, especially during middle school week. Uh, and these, in, like, these, all these experiences reinforce the value of having positivity within leadership. And through my internship, I had the opportunity to speak with CEOs and business men and women uh, throughout I, the Des Moines metro area and I was able to take initiative on projects such as writing handwritten letters to all of our volunteers from the previous year. Uh, if I had to choose someone I'd want to emulate, I would choose Princess Mia from the Princess Diaries. Her ability to remain true to herself as she adapts to her new responsibility is something that any leader should try and emulate. She remains honest and vulnerable throughout her entire experience and I think that's just something to be respected. Uh, while she may have been inexperienced, she challenged the stereotypes of what royalty should be. She thought outside of the box that royalty had previously been in, and she expanded that box to fit her inside of it. Uh, the Gospel of Matthew 5.16, Jesus says that we are supposed to let our light shine before others. This places an emphasis on the importance of remaining true to your values, and I believe that Princess Me embodies qualities that harmonize with timeless biblical truths and offers a compelling example for leadership grounded in faith while never actually saying that she is faithful.